Hello guys, welcome back for the part 24 of the Witcher Enhanced Edition And today we are going back to the swamp to finish the rest of the side quest that we still have And we are nearing the end of chapter 2 so I hope we can finish this quick run and we can start uh, entering the chapter 3 So keep watching everyone and have fun and don't forget to press like and subscribe
Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's rigged. What do you want? Know anything about Vivaldi's bank? No, it's only Vivaldi's by name. How so? New owners. Humans. That explains a lot. Really? Got a minute? What's eating you? I warn you, some philosophies involved. The meaning of life, eh? The evil that witchers fight stems from chaos. From actions aimed at disturbing order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Instead of the light of wisdom, the glimmer of hope, and the glow of warmth, darkness ensues. And in darkness you find nothing but blood, fangs, and claws. Like in the outskirts. Nicely put, but as young Cero said to King Verdank on their first date, does it have any practical uses? The right of witches to live and function in this world has fallen out of balance, because the struggle between good and evil now plays out on a different battlefield with different rules. Evil has ceased being chaotic. No longer a blind, elemental power, evil follows rules according to the rights it's been granted. It functions in line with treaties. That's progress. With more of us living longer, we can slaughter one another in the thousands. Progress is like a herd of pigs. The herd brings many benefits, but no one should wonder at all the shit. Shit or no shit, witchers exist to slay monsters. How can I when the real monsters hide behind ideals, faith, or the law? The biggest evil is moral relativity, which kills more than the Catriona Plague and dragons combined. Witchers will always be needed, no matter where that pig heart leads us. Thanks, Sultan. Are you lost? Who lives here? Don't answer a question with a question. Let me rephrase. Some nerve. This is Ramsmeat's house, and he never spoke of a visiting mutant, so scram. Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the Order. Well... Before you say no, let me give you some details. All right. Allow me to draw your attention to a few important matters. Primo, the Order was created to serve humble folk. Secundo, 
anyone can join, peasant, nobleman, or witcher. Tertio, knights of the order enjoy many privileges. I've heard enough. A quarto, knights of the order pursue monsters. What do you think? No thanks. Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the order. Hmm. No, I'm not interested. It's elementary. Welcome, you won't believe what happened. Tell me. Not so fast. Remember, I have expenses. How much do I owe you? 200 arons. This investigation is getting expensive. I'm not the Prophet Labiota. I can't live on roots and berries. Neither can my informers. I guarantee you these are the bare necessities. All right, 200 orans. Down to business. They transferred the prisoner after the attack. Not good. Especially since we won't get anything else out of him. He died last night. How did that happen? Well, he wasn't in great shape, so I guess it's no surprise. But I have a feeling... Someone helped him along? Exactly. Shani's a good friend of yours, right? Ask her to do an autopsy. Once we know the cause of death... Wait a minute. Are you spying on me? That's my job. See you later. Yes? Do we really need to do this autopsy? We can't move forward without it. See you later. Yes? Nothing personal against witches. Transport services at the best prices. Take me to the other side. Times are wasting. Made up your mind? Ready to go? How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp.
new customer. Come aboard. The waters seem unsettled.
speak. The ferryman paid me for the herbs. About time. Here's your share. Real pleasure doing business, Witcher. Likewise, Yaren. Speak. Any jobs for a Witcher? Listen, monsters have made the route to Vizima difficult. And those fish people are bothering me. You want me to clear the road and get rid of the Vodianoi? Yes. We're low on supplies. Trouble isn't the word for it if you don't get rid of them quickly. I'll pay generously. Tell me more about these monsters. Mainly drowners, blood swaggers, echinopsae. Where do I find the fish people? Near the brickmaker's village, but only at night. Shouldn't be a problem. Speak. Where do I find the fish people? Near the brickmaker's village, but only at night. Shouldn't be a problem. Speak. I'm still clearing the road to the landing. Hell! Get moving before we all die! I know the clock's ticking. Speak. Godspeed.
Sephira and Obelisk merged. The old spells still work. The Water Lords and I! The Tree Fellers grow uneasy about the Vodianoi. Vodianoi? The Lumberjacks think the Water Lords threaten them. The Water Lords grant mercy to those who recognize the truth of their mission. The Woodcutters have naught to fear. I'll negotiate with them, but I'll need your help. The Woodcutters should lay down their weapons as a sign of peace. Offer their leader's axe unto the Water Lords. Humble yourself before them! If the Lords see no falsity in your heart, they will lift you up, and the woodcutters need fear no more. But first, you must last the night in a sign of humility. Okay. The Water Lords and I! How do I communicate with Vodianoi? We know little of the Lords' language. We communicate through objects we conceal in the altar. We receive answers after a lord has visited. Where's the altar? By the oven, between the clay pits. Why do you worship the fish people? Speak with reverence about the lords. Sorry. We believe the world emerged from the waters which will engulf the world once more. The dry lands birthed all evil. The water lords are divine beings who have retained ancient wisdom. But beneath them lies the One God, the Creator of all, the Dweller of the Deep, the One who will come in anger! What kind of God is He? A God above all gods. I cannot speak of Him with the uninitiated. Why do you place items on the altar? You are not one of us. Contact the Lords and acknowledge their power. Yes, I wish to believe. You can gain favor by placing plants on the altar as sacrifice. What else do you leave? Brews and incense. When placed on the altar, our ill recover miraculously. What else? Avoid gifts unpleasing to the lords. All that harms life-giving waters. I'll be careful. All trappings of dry land signify resentment. Farewell. It has been foretold. Blessed waters shall pour down and the world consumed into the deep. The Water Lords and I! We could use more rain.
speak. The Brickmaker's elders claims you can negotiate with the Vodianoi. Negotiate? Are you daft? It's worth it, if only to avoid revenge for the massacre you're asking for. What am I supposed to do? Croak like a frog? Give me your axe. I'll take it as a sign of peace. You're testing me. But we'll take the chance. I'll take the axe to the fish people and return with their response. Speak. Godspeed. Oh, <laughs> 
Speak. I've cleared the road to the landing. It's safe. I knew I could count on you. And the fish people? The Vardianoi accepted your sacrifice and gave an amulet in return. The fish people should leave you alone now. Your reward, would you? What was that? Speak. Godspeed. We be simple people. Speak to our leader, Yarin. Who is Melly Teller in the face of the Waterlord's power?
guys i'll end the video here and for the next part uh, i think i will start uh, finishing the sentry side quest and after that uh, we are going back to the main quest uh, and do anatomy of a crime with friend of mine uh, hopefully uh, in two or three video more we can finish the chapter two so see you in the next part and bye guys